Ah, what happened to this place? Man. Oh wait, the, that that arrow wasn't there before. Where is that? Uh, right here. Go go over here. All right. Uh, what is what is this? Okay, maybe maybe it's talking about this. So I guess is the is the adventure over here? Let's see. Oh yeah, I never did get to look at that. Wait, no, 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 not again! What? Where? Where am I? Red leader, come in. Are you ready to lead the assault on the enemy? Hey, why is this button, Joe? <laughs> Oh no! Red Leader just blew up! Hey, Red McNed, can you lead the charge? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I guess. Yeah, sure. Why not? Come on, let's go! It's quiet. Too quiet. Would you like me to make some noise? Dude, you don't have to make the sound. Here, I'll put on a song to set the mood. Are you scared? That's not it! Be careful, the enemy is just up ahead. Use your advanced piloting skills or the direction buttons to get through the crazy random obstacles ahead. Or, you know, yeah, you could just, you know, fly straight through it. It's not like they tried it. Is that the enemy? Oh god, that's even more hideous than I thought it would be! Negative, negative. It uh, looks like it's just a slot machine. The enemy should be right behind it. Hiding behind a slot machine. Pretty clever, I'd say. Enemy? My god. Ammo, we need more ammo! It's beautiful. Everyone, remember your training! Do not wane, do not falter, do not yield. Where's our backup? Carry forth with steadfast stead and noble steedness. Do not let the look in your eyes be the look that takes away the heart of me. I'm going in! Red McNed, no, it's too dangerous! Hell, boys! I'm back! Hmm? Oh. Hello, this is Red McNed, and welcome back to the saga, and also welcome myself back to me. So, I, I welcome myself back. I was on a little break, and that was just wonderful. And it looks like things are still working over here. It's still dancing, still party time. Uh, I've been a little busy. You might notice a couple things have uh, kind of changed around here. First off, I, I moved the beacon over here. Um, it actually has haste 2 on it, which helps when uh, breaking ores. This is um, impulses wheat, uh, wheat, yeah, no, it's a sugar cane, sugar cane farm. It's impulses sugar cane farm with uh, slime blocks, and it has a little timer in the back, a little hopper timer, and just whenever it feels like it, yeah, there you go, it, it launches the... Uh, Sure came into this, it goes into some hoppers and stuff, ends up there. This was already here, but I wanted to showcase the fact that I've gone out and found a few more types of trees. Like, we didn't have the dark oak before. Uh, oak and birch, yeah we did. Acacia though, that's a that's a new one. I had to find an um, acacia biome. And a, a jungle tree, I think everything's... Yeah, so I think that's every tree. I did change up this a little bit. I, uh, there were half slabs where the cactuses would grow into by changing them into the post. And I think that it's getting more efficient because of that. I think it is. I never really... I don't know if I explained this ladder or not. Basically, the circuit that's on top here, I'll just... There's a little clock, a little negative pulse that goes around here. And it hits these pistons that activate on all the sides to... Uh, flow water in their designated quadrant. That sounds really fancy. Every so often, the signal goes away though. I think it's because I changed the render from six to 10 chunks to get this thing working. And since I can't run this at uh, 10 chunks all the time, I, I end up going between the two. 
And I think that a little bit of pulse gets a little confused during that. So every so often I have to replace it. This is the farm that's been just absolutely lovely. I have it with a little bit of everything right now. And it's gotten me to have at least double chests of pretty much everything I'd, uh, I'd want. But I also put up the Impulse's Nano Farms. Here's another Impulse build. Um, for just growing things, you know, if I, if I need to spot treat my collection, so to speak. And it's actually pretty good. But interestingly enough, well, besides the fact that this takes bone meal, which isn't really that big of a deal because of that, it's almost easier just to let this grow, hit this switch, and this just gets such a big quantity of food like thrown at my my reserves that it's it's usually fine. And let's just let's just go ahead and watch it cuz it's fun. I I just like, you know, there's something about this too. I don't know. Just it could be art. It could be. <laughs> this is a little pig that I drafted. You may remember this pig from the water stream, the river, the canal that I put in. It was just a pig that just stayed in that water stream. So I actually went over there and fetched fetched him all the way over here. So he's, um, he's helping us out. I was wondering why he was looking at me. You know what? You're a good pig. Here you go. This pig helps me out quite a bit because this is a pumpkin farm. This is the design by Exuma Void. And if you watch, the pig actually it triggers all the pistons. They fall down here and they go in here. I think I jump down here. Yep, okay. So instead of having the pressure plate go directly into this, which feeds into these towers and powers the whole thing, I decided to have it come through here into a little monostable circuit. Mono stable. And basically what that does is when the when the pig stands on this pressure plate like it is right now. See they went on and off. Oh there they go. Couple, couple did did just fall. Um, I could stay on here for a while, and the pumpkins can still grow. Whereas if the pistons were still extended, they could not. And this pig I saw likes to kind of park here, and so I made it okay for it. You know, so we we have we have a good relationship. I think. I don't know. I actually haven't asked. But further up here, I put. Um, Monkey Farms, uh, Cocoa Bean Farm. And what it is, it's a really quick mechanism that shifts everything up and down so fast that everything flies off of them. See, I'll, uh... there we go. And I actually hooked it up to three of them. The way I saw it is that this had its own power and this had its own power from this one switch. So if I carried that to each of those, then I could just have them all in one button, one go. Uh, ooh, I almost fell. I have put in a little, uh, a very basic um, vines, <laughs> vine farm here. So this is basically how it works. You just uh, go along, take them off, and then you do the next row. Um, it Actually, the only thing you have to worry about is if you take it off from up here, it takes out the whole column. So you kind of have to keep track of that. It would have been easier if I just had a, str a flat wall that was like this, because then I could do any of them. But then I couldn't do something like this. Actually, the only reason I can do that is because I have these on the inside too. If I, oh, I guess, okay. So it works in here. I like to kind of swing around. I, I like that. Let's see, let's uh, take one of these. You may have guessed that this is where I grow my mushrooms. And since it's a podzel right here, just like mycelium, you can grow them in any light level. So I can walk around with my efficiency four on breaking. I tried this with a fortune enchanted uh, axe and it actually had pretty much no effect. 
So um, I know that might have worked in the past, but it doesn't do that now. Over here though, I don't know if anyone recognizes what I'm trying here. Uh, if you guessed villager breeder, yep. So this is the breeder by Unary bit, and um, I guess it's the one that's pretty standard fare in a lot of uh, a lot of the community. I need to put a villager up there, and I need to put a few villagers in here so that they'll start making more villagers. But before that, I also have one more change. Notice anything about the bottom of this? That's right, sky base is now officially floating. Yep, we've cut ties with the world below. Because, you know, I think we're above that sort of thing. That being said, I might as well just show you. I just jump down, <laughs> avoid the dock. It puts me right here. And I actually did end up putting something else down here. So that's why it's um, it's now part of the tour. So there's there's the portal. I actually found a couple slime chunks over here. In fact, I found three of them within a uh, two by two chunk block thing. So I went ahead and set up a uh, little farm. Wait a minute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that there are still iron golems in those. And I'm gonna explain what I did here. This is a full chunk, this is one, and this is one. And this one didn't have any slimes in it, so I didn't set up anything. But I thought this was pretty convenient. So basically, th this was the idea that was presented by uh, Zoomavoid also, where there was the iron golems, the cactus, uh, the iron golems, and the cactus. And he actually put hoppers down here, and the cactus was at the level of the hoppers, but I raised it up one because the uh, little ones, I thought they could possibly be dying on it. So instead I have this little water into a drowning trap here and an elevator that brings everything back up into here. I emptied that recently, so that's why there's nothing in there. But basically the bigger ones can get hit by this and the smaller ones can't. And on top, it was kind of interesting to set up. I wanted to have more than one layer. So I made this. And basically it works like this. If you want to get close to this iron fool, uh, the large slimes will hit their head on this little blade coming through here. And that will knock them down to size. And then they can fall down this hole, which is big, big enough for the, the two, the second sized ones. Sometimes the impact of the fall will turn them into the smallest version where they can just go in there. But if not, they can jump into that. And it would be really cool if I can get a demonstration. This is probably a good time also to mention this. I actually, I am still in 1.8.9. I tried going into 1.9, but actually there were too many render glitches going on. So I was kind of forced back. All right, I'm gonna see if I can force these to, uh... oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Yes, candidate. Ah, so see, aha. So he's too big, jumps, hits his head on the uh, on the fire thing, turns into the smaller versions. They jump and oh no 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 okay as you were. <laughs> They're attracted by the iron, <laughs> hit their head on the pole, I mean on the cactus, and just like when anyone else hits their head on a uh, the thing is falls into pieces. Let's get all loaded in here. Okay, a little loading sickness. So I would say that you're up to speed now. If you needed to speed up, you are now. You you can stop speeding up because you're at speed. I believe everything has been spoken of for now. For now. Alrighty, I think all the preparations are in place. So the first task to getting this going is putting a villager up here at the top. Uh, so I have this nice line of uh, minecart rails are powered and hopefully 
I'll send it up, shoop, and the whoop, and yeah, I know there's no doors here yet. I'll put them in after the villagers there. So what I've got over here is sort of like a, a kind of a guiding uh, setup. I blocked off the uh, the walkways that go different areas just to make sure that um, the villagers kind of stick around here. And if we go into the nether, you can see that I've done a little bit to prepare. I have this little walkway just in case I need to uh, shove anybody up. I've, I've decided to take these uh, half slabs around wherever I go just uh, just in case I need to push people around. Let's see, I'll put these here. I have a few more uh, guiding apparatus type things going on here. Now as you can see that does not lead to the villagers, however it actually leads to the back entrance of uh, of the the map room here, but I put in another portal that links to that one of the nether anyways and since it's a one-way trip hopefully they don't end up back here. Now, I think I only really need three one for the perch way up on top and two of them to start breeding with each other you know and just all it takes is a little push yep sometimes that's all it takes for insanity it's just a little push. <laughs> oh, this isn't too bad at all. I don't know why people ever complain about uh, moving villagers ever, you know? It's just so easy. Uh, hmm. Maybe I can wedge this guy out with this other guy. Come on. Oh! We have a volunteer. Oh, you just went right in there, didn't you? Oh, I should have disabled that before I... Mm hmm. Well... Oh, well, if I get extras in here, it's... Uh... Oh, I do. I do have extras in here. Alright, I should take care of that. I forget how to disable these any other way than just doing uh, a little bit of that. And I don't have to worry about the problems that other people are because I'm in 1.8 still. It's been actually really uh, pleasant, just uh, me and Mr. Villager, or Mrs. I don't know, gender androgynous. Uh, we've been just having little chats and you know, mostly one-way conversations. Oh, okay, conversation's over. Breaky break. Yep. Okay, I gotta be careful. I don't want to um, I want to push him over the edge. I'm actually really happy to wait, 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 wait. What? What? No. Oh, okay. It's all right. I think. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, is it gonna work? Oh, I want to run up and see. It's just like Christmas. Look at that piece of cake. And let's see if I can, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, uh-oh. Uh... Okay, wait. I can, I can handle this. I can handle this. Why don't you, uh, step on down? There's a lovely, uh... Lovely spot for you if you want to come on down. Uh, yeah. Or you can stay there. Whoa, easy, buddy. Yes, okay. All right. All right. Let's try this again. Mr. Uh, what's your name? Smith? Welcome to the, uh, you're, you know what, you're kind of like the person that oversees things because you're over everything and you can see it all. So, uh, do you, I bet you'll do good work here. Alright, these, these doors were pretty specific about, uh, what they wanted in life, so. There we go. This is your village. 
Is that not acceptable? I think it is. All right, now I'm going to use that second track down there to um, funnel the other villagers into the other holding cell. I mean, uh, re resort spa. Okay, round two. Where is it going to go? Right there. Okay, perfect. All right, this this is gonna take some finesse. I have a feeling. Oh, yep. He's he likes that. He likes that. Okay. No, where are you going? Don't go there. Okay. <laughs> let's let's get you. Um, bat no, no. You you know you 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 messed up pretty good. Okay, here, come on. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you get back up here. <laughs> get over here, please. <laughs> come on. Yeah, come on in. This is a good place. No. Yeah, yeah. I need to get behind him somehow. Maybe he won't see me. Scooting in. Don't run. Don't go anywhere. We're just gonna edge this way. Easy does it. Get in. Go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> let's uh let's do that. E splash. Wonderful. I believe they are getting acquainted. Wow, this is kind of abrasive. Right, we can we can add some fuel to their romantic fire. Yes, this is this is a traditional um, wedding ceremony of uh, villagers. What you do is you have your friends and family throw food on top of you while you're in a glass tube type thing, and then you proceed to uh, throw food at each other. Until you make a baby. Okay, one of one of them got hearts. No love for the other one. Love's a one-way street. That's sad. Come on. Rooting for you. Come on, pulling for you. Come on, love. Make love. Make love. Make love. Come on, make love. Make love. Make a baby. You know, maybe it's quite possible that they just don't like each other. Right now, I, I, I can't care. I, I'm very utilitarian about this. <laughs> I, I want a baby. I've never felt more like a grandparent in my whole life. Talking to their kids. Their grown kids. Oh, there's hearts. That that means it's time for more food to get thrown at you. This this is a very bizarre ceremony. If you didn't if you couldn't if you couldn't didn't if you, if you didn't if you didn't couldn't you know. <laughs> oh, it's uh Dating life seems pretty fickle for these. Uh, this also is, feels kind of like the Discovery Channel. Oh wait, oh wait, there's a lot of hearts there. There's a lot of hearts there. If we get a close-up. Close-up view of the action. Come on. Ah, oh, false alarm. <laughs> How y'all doing? Still going at it? Man, they've been in there for a while. <gasps> oh, baby! Yes! Baby! <laughs> oh, okay. 
We have a working thingy. So, when you grow up, you can be just like your parents. Right? <laughs> oh, he's saying his first words, too. Barely hear him. I don't think they're actually words. Although I really shouldn't insult the way they communicate by saying it's not words. You know, it's pretty insulting to say someone speaks gibberish. Just because I don't understand them. Although I think in this case they actually are speaking gibberish. Alright, I've been doing some work in the meantime. Uh, just around the base while the, uh, the villager breeder is doing its thing. I've added another area of the storage. So now it's going to be twice as large. Mostly because I was getting confused where my things were. But i am got to say, I'm pretty happy that uh, behind the scenes, this thing's been working really good. Like before I knew it, I had the 15 villagers that I wanted to keep in there. And I started funneling off the rest. And it, it looks like they're enjoying themselves. Or at least they're existing. Either they're enjoying themselves or they're just existing... And I'm projecting the fact that they're enjoying themselves. But either way, I sleep pretty good at night. I'm also happy I built this kind of away from my area over here because it's a little loud. I could just, you know... Ah, peace of mind. So now, I have one final piece of business that I need to attend to. I figure, what better way to end this first episode that I'm back from my break than to give give freedom freedom the best gift look at them all just launching into their newfound freedom it's yours the town is yours go for it yeah oh is this in the way there I'll I'll fix that for you oh yeah this is this is probably in the way too Yep. Yep, go on. Enjoy. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're supposed to run into the village. Get. I'm going to have to get my shovel. It's all right. They're probably just shy, you know. It's a it's a brave new world over there. And you know, you can't just uh, oh, see. We got a trailblazer over here. Uh, I guess that's a start. That's, that's not what I had in mind exactly. I wonder if they're just not recognizing this as a village. I'm curious to see what happens when the night comes. Oh, they're starting to run. They're starting to run. Where are they going to run to? Anything in particular? Nothing? What are you doing? Well, I guess there's a door under there. You, you know you're going to get dizzy after a while. <laughs> oh, I, I have no idea what they're... This is, this is a game I'm not familiar with. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm... <laughs> hmm. Are they using the doors? They seem mostly confused about the doors. Like they don't know where the inside is. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, I gotta change, change some things. Oh, that's cool. Like the houses have people in them. Oh, no. I think they like it. Hey, Mikey. Oh, that's so cool. Like the houses. There seems to be a preference quite strongly for the ones closest to where all the villagers were. But they're all inside. That's so cool. I'm assuming that over time they'll eventually uh, spread to these other places. I'm hoping they will. So, I'm very happy that I could do this final bit. I feel like there's some closure now. Um, when I left, I was like, this is a lot of work ahead of me. I'm tired. <laughs> want to take a break so I guess rounding it all off I will say that the break was awesome and I am very compelled to get back into the, the business of making videos so um, 
I guess the mandatory parts of this are uh, saying thanks for sticking around and uh, patiently waiting that out. Um, I I really do want to get back to making these because honestly, it's a lot of fun, and I'm I'm excited to share what I have to offer with the uh, with all you Minecraft peeps out there. So I'm gonna clean this up, clean up my act. Thanks for watching. This has been Red McNed, and I'll see you in the next episode.